Hello, I'm Desire Zelda. How are you? Um, I know our last Mixcraft video got kinda messed up, didn't it? The sound. Well, I posted a brand new video, new microphone. I no longer even have to yell while I'm doing my videos. Um, I left the other one on until I put this one on. So here's our first um, lesson again. Building looped and matched beat music. Alright, so we come up with the usual mixed craft window. By the way, just in case you're just watching this to see if you want to buy the product, it is not freeware, okay? It's uh, very, um, I, I don't know how much it was, I can't remember. Anyway, let's get going, shall we? If you look down here, you can see your project. That'll let you choose your tempo for this particular song. I'm going to do 160 beats a minute. Your key, let's do key at A flat. And your time signature. Let's do, let's just do 4 4. If you want the metronome to play while your music's playing, you can turn it on or like it off. I like the auto beat match on. Sorry, folks. Excuse me. Horrible sneeze there. Anyway, I like that on. Okay? So next you can come to track and add a new track which shows up up here. And I'm about to sneeze again. Excuse me. <sighs> Alright, YouTuber. Sorry about that. I thought I had a sneeze. Um, Alright, up here is where you'll find where your tracks are, where they're going to be. Um, your tracks can determine the tempo changes. Oh, wait. Yeah. No, your tracks can't determine tempo changes. It's just like a new track. Sound. We don't have any sounds up there, so we can't really do it. So let's get the library. This is where you could choose anything you want. Any sound. You could choose. Um, by tempo, by key, you can choose by mood and style and instrument. The name and the song kit, I prefer by instrument, personally. Let's listen to this l acoustic guitar. Now oh, I like that. I'm not sure if you could hear it, but... I personally like it, so we're just going to click Add, and look at here, it pops up. Yeah, you could change the key, you know, just in case you want to have it in its original key, but I don't want to do that, so let's listen to what we have so far. Alright, so that sounded like a bunch of jumbled mess, didn't it? In case you heard, so let's slow the tempo down a little. Maybe... 80 beats a minute. Oh, here's where you can edit a sound. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Alright, let's listen now. That sounds better. Now, you might be wondering, when it's time to add a new instrument, how do I know which one to add? Well, if you look right here, it'll show you the mood. This is modern and laid back. So let's look for a bass that's modern and laid back. Alright, let's just go with this one. It's kind of modern. I like it. And then you could listen to your completed track. Alright. I liked it. Not really. But this is just to get you started. There's a lot of experimenting to do. So you just have to get out there. I'm just coming to show you the bare basics. Thank you for watching.